Hello everyone, um, in this lab we're going to take a look at the availability set uh, within the Azure environment. Uh, this is one of the exam ob objectives for AZ 104 or 103 Azure Administrator exam. So what we're going to do, we're going to create an av availability set and we, we're going to deploy a couple of VMs in there. One thing to note that once a virtual machine is, machine is created, you cannot assign that to an existing availability set okay so you have to do that at the time of VM creation so we are also going to prove that so before we do anything let's create a virtual machine and uh, add what we'll do just to minimize cost and for the purpose of the lab I'm just gonna go with the uh, Ubuntu Ubuntu uh, I'm gonna call it any so not part of the availability set and I'm going to use uh, East US as my region uh, here notice that I'm not choosing anything I'm not choosing either availability set or zone okay nothing and uh, all of the rest of the setting is good uh, and for I'm going to use password based authentication and for the password let's get uh, the default password that uh, we have been using for most of the labs so let's get that one and uh, we have it ready and then let's take a look at that disk we're not changing anything it's all good networking we don't really care about too much default whatever is fine management is fine uh, boot diagnostic uh, console output a screenshot virtual machine running on the on the host you can keep it on or off uh, waste guest diagnostics uh, it's gonna give you the metrics every minute for your virtual machine so I'm gonna keep it on if you don't need you can get, get rid of it uh, identity auto shutdown all of that uh, I'm not configuring uh, no extensions needed uh, then just uh, doing create and it's going to create one virtual machine for me okay so while, this, while it is going on I can go back to virtual machine and let's start deploying another virtual machine with an availability set okay so go back home virtual machines again I'll do add and uh, Again, virtual machine name. Now, this one I want to be part of the availability set. So, VM A set one. Okay, availability set one. That's how I'm, I'm naming it. And East US is the region. This time I'm going to say, yeah, let's make it part of an availability set. Since I do not have an availability set defined for this lab, I'm going to click on create new and I'll say demo. A set which is available to set now fall domain it could be maximum of three I'm just gonna keep to the default two and update domain you can have up to 20 if you move the slider here but again I'm gonna keep it to the default value of five and once that's done uh, I'm gonna keep the rest of it the same again I'm gonna change this to uh, password based authentication and uh, I'm gonna add the same password uh, make sure that I still had that copied so let me do it one more time just to remove any kind of confusion all right uh, once that's done again I don't really have to configure anything else so I'll just uh, where are we I don't know why it's saying that I haven't seen this oh I have to say so we uh, our whatever we did for availability said we didn't save it that was the problem so uh, uh, remember to save that so availability set one we were we wanted to set it or demo availability set is that's the name we want to use so remember to click on OK so that will save the new configuration that, that we just did for the availability set and now you just do uh, create validation fail the record information missing what is the report information so let's go back take a look at it uh, changing basic options may reset 
so what is missing I'm gonna try it one more time and see if it's still complaining okay so trying to pay attention to see if there's anything that we missed this is fine password all of that looks good subscription looks good this looks good networking looks good management looks good I can turn on some of the stuff this looks good looks good okay I'm not sure what's going on so let's try to redeploy this machine one more time okay so virtual machine name I'm gonna say um, VM asset one I'm gonna use again the East US we're gonna say we're gonna part of availability set we're gonna create one we're gonna call it uh, demo availability set fall domain 2 and 5 hit OK this time we remember to click OK Ubuntu this machine is 5 uh, fine then password based authentication username is student password password everything is good just say review and create and this time if it gives me any trouble then I'll be very angry at Azure alright right now <laughs> it says very decent past so let's create this one so we created one next time we try it we messed up give us some problem so in now I, I'm recreating another one and this one along with an availability set okay so look at it what's going on so saying both are both are deploying here the resource group is VM asset group so one other thing we didn't really choose is the resource group okay but that's fine so let's go to that resource group and the resource group uh, it says your deployment status right over there and it says that it's deploying that means this resource is being deployed at this time okay so while it's going on we can also go to home and take a look at my virtual machines so we created one virtual machine okay here that virtual machine is created as part of one resource group called Ubuntu group this one is not available uh, we have not defined any availability set for this one and this is running okay this virtual machine we created as part of this VM asset one group and this time this deployment is successful so let's go to the resource and this is all all good it's all deployed and uh, let's go to the resource group and I want to see if I have the availability set available to us okay it's not telling me anything about the availability set so I'm just gonna search for availability sets and see if my demo availability set it showed up it's part of this resource group so I'm gonna click on this one and see if there's any VM so VM asset one so we have already configured this one uh, as part of this particular asset group and looks like for the fault domain it, it, it it's using zero and update domain is zero so in here we got two of them but you, you see I really don't have any option to add any virtual machine to this availability set like there is no what will actually I do let's see what we have here so if I no this is for the availability set so for VMs so if you want to add a VM to my availability set can you do that that's the question I'm trying to answer 
so here I can looks like I can maybe delete stuff I can look at the activity log I can do the AIM uh, we can do configuration but for the virtual machine I don't have a plus tag in here okay so it's just not there so there is no way for me to add an existing virtual machine to this particular availability set so what I need to do so I need to create another virtual machine okay so this time I want to create another virtual machine and uh, let's say VM asset 2 so here I can choose the previous existing group that I have VM asset group 1 and most people will recommend that but for this exercise let's try if you can have a virtual machine that is part of a, even a different asset group can you make it part of an availability set we will answer that question and in here for some reason this is now showing up in red uh, here I'm gonna change to password base student then let's do the password and uh, for the availability set availability set I'm gonna choose and it says no available items okay so let's see what happens if I change this resource group to RG1 okay still saying no available sets in current resource group and location so what do you need to do so we have availability set that we have deployed under A VM asset one group so, so this answers the question whether you can have uh, a virtual machine that is actually part of another resource group that you can use within an availability set and the answer is no so if you want an availability set to be created both of the virtual machines or multiple of those virtual machines has to be in the same asset group so when I'm creating the second virtual machine I cannot just create a new asset group and put it there and uh, this asset group must have that availability set deployed in that asset group as well so once I have that I think it's everything is good so let's uh, do create and it should deploy this new virtual machine in that asset group and it will be attached to the availability set and let's give it a second or, or a minute or so and as soon as the deployment is done what we want to do we want to go and uh, we want to look at the availability set one more time and take a look at the virtual machine so let's just go to the availability set again this is the demo set that we we have created and look this is also deployed in in the in the VM asset one asset group so let's go uh, and open up the VM asset one more time and if you look at it opens overview overview already saying that I have VM asset one that's in a running state and another one we are assigning to this particular as availability set and that is being created its status is creating at this moment right so again configuration there is nothing uh, virtual machine we just looked at uh, you can look at the properties uh, and remember we defined three fold domains and five uh, update domains and uh, it's just giving you the subscription ID subscription name and the resource group uh, not a lot lock if you want you can add a lock in your um, resource group so we can add a delete lock and lock type we can say uh, delete so nobody can delete don't delete 
my VM so nobody can delete your VMs once you have created okay if you want you can also also export the template if you want to use the same template to deploy a similar resource so it's now done so let's uh, go back to the overview page and it still says uh, creating so it's uh, probably the virtual machine is done so it will take just another minute probably to uh, assign the fault domain and update domain so that's how you can create an availability set so one other tip so if you wanted you can create an availability set as the first step in your exercise so instead of creating the availability set as part of the fort virtual machine deployment you can create an availability set resource to begin with okay so once you do that if you say resource group uh, let's put it in the same resource group and say um, first asset okay you can uh, create that one create okay that's another um, exam question maybe that can you deploy multiple availability set resources in one resource group and the answer is yes we just did that okay so if you did this as a first step then at the time of your first VM deployment you could have chosen this particular asset group uh, availability set as your desired availability set all right that's all for the video uh, just practice it make sure you understand how to create an availability set and how to assign uh, our your VMs and this takes a little bit of time so it's still creating so I'm gonna give it a second as soon as I have a number will end the video okay so we're back um, so what the other thing I want to mention in this video the other place where you can find the current default zone and update domain update domain and fault domain assigned to a particular virtual machine you can also go to a virtual machine uh, blade from there you can go down to the availability plus scaling is gonna tell you what is the availability set that this machine is part of and what is the current fault domain and current update domain for example if I wanna go back and find uh, the other VM, VM set 1. I can also go to the uh, availability and scaling and it's going to tell me that it's the fault domain. The same information should also be coming from the availability set itself which is the demo set. If I go in there now you see both of them are running state. The first one it's been assigned fault domain 0, update domain 0 and the next one is assigned fault domain 1 and update domain 1 the last point to note uh, with an availability set and with the managed disk uh, you can achieve 99.5 percent SLA of your virtual machines okay that's all good luck with the exam thanks for watching